All right, everyone. Well, we made it 30 days. I'm starting this last episode here with this announcement that this is the episode where we do die. Now, you'll see uh, the first clip here. We're going to start another run, um, but I, I do want to post uh, this footage out here so people can learn about some of the failures and, and, and whatnot. Uh, I was eight minutes into a, a recording session, and that, that you'll see at the next clip here. Um, this is all just one clip because I, I found out how to put them together. Um, but yeah, so there's eight minutes where we're getting started, we're organizing things, and we're about to head out uh, to go get the uh, tactical backpack. And then you'll see where I was uh, ambushed by a wolf. I almost, I was drawing my bow, and then he got me. And I finished the struggle, but I was in the red. And then you'll see some game mechanics where I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm trying to get back to the cabin so I can sleep, but you'll see my health continue to go down even though I do take care of my injuries. It continues to go down uh, for some reason. So then you'll see what I did was I just decided to just hit escape and quit and then come back in. Well, as you know, uh, as soon as you get an injury or, you know, you're done with a wolf struggle or something like that, it saves. And then if uh, you come back into it, it's, it's you know, you're, it, it's uh, like the struggle just happened, right? And you still have your injuries to deal with. And it is that time that I remembered that I could use. Um, so I stopped the recording. I came back in and to see if I could salvage it. Uh, and then I did salvage it. I was able to use the stem then to increase my health and stop my swaying, and then I was able to get into the cabin. Then the next clip picks up after we got into the cabin. I said, okay, so I'm back in here, and I was able to sleep and get a little bit of health back. So then I decided to continue the run, you know, because I'm technically still alive. So it's like, okay, well, let's continue the run. And then we go all through, we get the technical backpack and everything, and then I die at the end there. If you look, if you skip to the end there, you'll see that I basically just died because I I, uh, I ended up freezing to death because I was too far away. The condition was too low. My condition was too low, and I was too far away to go in a blizzard uh, to get to some shelter. I could have probably used a stim, but there are other situations, there are other uh, decisions that we could have made probably to get out of that. But uh, that's just all about the long dark. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could do. That's why this game is so cool. Because there's just a lot of every every decision you make has a consequence. You know, you could have made another decision. You could have spent more time doing this versus doing that, right? Uh, that's and that's what I that's what I like about the game. So, uh, watch the videos, learn from it. Uh, you could post some in the comments, some suggestions, what we could have done, what we should have done, stuff like that. Uh, so we're gonna start another run, but probably not gonna be today. I got to work on some other things here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but just enjoy enjoy the clip. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, I do have, um, before I start another run, I'll, I'll go over some of my other ones, but I, I do have another run uh, that's Interloper that I think is about a little over 200 days, but that was all just personal play, so I didn't put that uh, upload, any, anything like that. Uh, so we're going to start another run. So thanks for watching this run, and uh, watch the... Uh, the end of the run, you know, where we die here to see if we can learn from things or whatnot, and hopefully don't make the same mistakes again in the future. All right, take care, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are in Ash Canyon. We are in the Angler's Den. And as I was saying before, I'm wondering why they decided to call it Angler's Den, because I have not seen a fishing hut nearby. The only fishing hut we see is the one uh, on the other side of the waterfall. So, it was just interesting, I thought. So, we're tired. Let's take a look at our status. We're tired, we're heavy. Um, we picked up a number of things uh, that I'm considering leaving behind. There's just a number of items, such as uh, an additional pot here. Um, what are some of the things? We picked up some extra tools, which, you know, we don't need the regular tools. 
so I'm pr what I'm probably going to do is just, since this is my first time in Ash Canyon, uh, I will come back for this stuff, but I just don't want things that I just really don't need quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump things here that I just, I really don't need uh, to take with me. Um, I don't need this extra lantern. I just, I really don't. I would, I would love it. So for example, one, one enhancement to the game could be, I'm sure other players have experienced this. So when you harvest, like, so for example, this lantern has 0.8 uh, liters of oil in it. When I harvest it, I only get the scrap metal, which is quite unfortunate because there should be a way, if there's a way to put oil into the lantern, there should be a way to take it out of it. And maybe we take like a 10%, you know, a loss hit, you know, or something like that, because obviously, you know, oil sticks to everything. You're not going to get every drop of oil out of the thing. Um, so it would be nice to be able to get oil out of out of a uh, out of a lantern. That would be real nice. Let me see. So I'm gonna drop this. Don't need this guy. Uh, we're also heavy because we have quite a bit of food. Well, not quite a bit. We have some food. Some food on us. We have a lot of cattails. And what water do we have? So we got a fair amount of water on us too. So, but our condition is also very low because we encountered quite a bit of uh, wolves the last time. Let's take a look at the condition of our clothing. Uh, yeah. So, the run-in with wolves here really did a number on the uh, the rabbit skin uh, items. So rabbit skin items will go down uh, faster than other items. So. We've had a couple, at least two, run in with wolves um, since I have the new clothing here. So, yeah, so, yeah, let's just drop things that we're not going to take with us here. Um, we do need to get our condition up. So, the plan is so, when we're looking at the sun up here, it's past midday. We got quite a ways to go. To get to the gold mine, it, it it's it's quite a it's quite a long journey, and I, I my condition's low. I'm really tired, so I think we're just gonna drink. A, let's see, do I have a birch bark? I got a birch bark, so I'm gonna drink this birch bark here. Okay, and then we're just gonna go to bed because we need to get quite a bit of condition back. Um, we don't have a risk of wolves, per se, for the remainder of our time in Ash Canyon. Um, we're going to be going, we got a good amount of condition back, that's nice. What do we got, cabin fever or something? Yeah. So, I just I made some coffee, so I have my own coffee right here. Me. Right here in the Rockies. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of some of this meat here. That'll be good. Uh, what is our weight at now? So it's going to be quite cold out. And that's okay. Uh, our weight is fine. We're going to, we're going to, when we have the technical backpack, our max will be 40 kilos anyway, so... Okay, what I'm going to do, we're just going to take off. We looted this whole place, and we decided to leave back uh, some heavier items right there that we didn't need, but we left them right there. So we, might as, well, go. we might as well move this. Okay, yeah, that's that's it. And this, uh, this cabin had two sets of matches, which is great. Alright, so it is dark. The thing that sucks is we can't really see. Just because there's some really nice views when we're walking up there. So I'm wondering what I should do. I don't I'd rather go up there when it's daylight out, so I think I'm gonna look for things that I can do here. So let's five minutes for that. <laughs> there's a lot more birch bark in this uh, region, so we have that. Fifteen minutes for this. <clears throat> We'll probably just do a bunch of sharpening and waiting and then sleeping.
until it's daylight out. Is what I'm guessing. Okay. Because if it was a clear night, I would have probably went for it, but it's just, it's not, so. Alright, let's see, what do we have to sharpen? Not a whole lot. Maybe we'll exhaust this uh, whetstone and then we can just leave another uh, tenth of a kilo behind. 100%? Yeah, don't accidentally click harvest, you know, there's no prompt here. If you get into constant sharpening mode, you could accidentally click harvest here. I did that at a previous run, and I didn't realize it. And then I got to a point where I needed my hatchet, and I I couldn't find it. I was like, where did the hatchet go? I accidentally harvested the hatchet is what happened. So then I had to go back and obviously make a new one. <laughs> so confirmation props, you know, uh, they can be quite annoying, but they can also save things. So I'm on the fence with the um, with the prompts like that. So we got a couple of things of wood here. I'm not sure why I opened that. I was thinking so. I just wanted to get rid of this whetstone. Is what I wanted to do. So let's do that. All right. So that's ruined. And I'll just leave this on the ground because it's ruined. Okay. So. We got everything sharpened. It's too. We don't have an aurora, so we can't do anything that requires light. So let's just take a look at our inventory and see what else we can do. We can make a fire outside. We could make some water. Uh, we could make some teas. Uh, we could uh, cook our acorns. Where are the acorns at? Are they here? Where are they? Oh, they're here. Yeah. Feathers, anything that needs to be broken down. I don't think I have anything that needs to be broken down. Okay, so we're just going to be in the waiting game. I don't want to get into any more struggles with any more wolves. Actually, I don't want to ever get into struggle with wolves. <laughs> um, but I think we'll be all right. Some of the wolves and Timberwolves shouldn't have respawned by the time we get back there. They might have, though by the time we get back. I do not know the wolf respawn rate for interloper. I do not know that. All right, well, we're just going to straight up wait because we have nothing else to do and I just don't want to go out there in the day in the when it's And this guy has a deck of cards with him, but it's never in our inventory. <laughs> You must play solitaire or something, right? In the dark. Okay. All right. So how much time is left? Yeah, that should be good for uh, for getting some daylight out there. Okay. Sun's coming up. We'll fill up on food and water. We'll have to make more water by the time we get into the uh, mountain, but that'll be fine. All right. Cabin fever will be... We're not going to have an issue with cabin fever for quite some time until we start making the bear coats. The wolf coat, too. I think the wolf coat is like 60 hours. And here's a lockbox here for something. Nothing there. All right, let's get moving. Get the bow out. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to start to get light out. I hope the weather clears up so that we can see the views better. Because there's a lot of really good views uh, inside Ash Canyon. Alright, so we're going to continue along this way. We're heading towards the waterfall up here. Okay. Now, uh, I have to get to higher ground to explain. Okay, so this is the direction we need to go. So over that way, I think, is where we get rid of the Dark Walker. Over that way. What's this? 
you can't see very well, it's hard to tell if this burnt wood is something you need to look at or, or not, or if it's just something we just walked by. So there should be a fire pit up here. Yeah, there's a fire pit. Next to the fire pit, not too far, should be a can of tomato soup. I don't know how long that's been there, but that is one of the static spawns. Uh, what was I just saying? You see that wolf just snuck right up on me. Holy cow. Like I survived another night. Yeah, you barely survived. <laughs> we, sir, are heading back to... What else did I get? Just a sprained ankle. Okay. Well, now we're heading back to the cabin. One trick I learned... Damn, that smarts. ...is to limit this, uh, get your lantern out, and then do that. Well, no, they must have fixed that. On one run, a guy showed me to get rid of the stumbling. He could just do that. He could just do that. Oh, we got a wolf here, so... Get rid of that. I'm gonna constantly back up here. This is gonna be real tricky. Real tricky. Okay, where is the cabin? Did I pass it? Where is it? I gotta find the cabin. Gotta find the cabin. Where is the cabin? Stop stumbling around, please. I need to find the cabin. Yeah, I scared him off with that arrow. I gotta go back for that arrow. I don't like this because I'm losing health. Why am I losing health? What, because I have a sprained ankle? Is that why? I mean, am I losing health just because I'm losing health? Okay, all ailments are gone. So I should stop losing health. I should stop losing health. Why is my health still going down? It should not still be going down. All right, tell you what, let's stop it. Yeah, I don't know why my health's still going down. It should not still be going down. It just should not. Come on. Fire's life out here. Yeah, well, I can't even sleep by the fire, so. Yeah, well. The run has ended. All right, everyone, welcome back. We are in Angler's Den uh, inside Ash Canyon. And this is the first time in this uh, series where I have a break in between. I did something uh, in between episodes here. So I was recording earlier, but what happened is I just recording. I was just recording, and I stepped out, and a wolf attacked me. And I struggled with him. Because it was another one of those ambush things where, you know, there's no bark or anything like that. And then my condition was down to um, about, you know, it was in the red. And so I repaired everything in the red. I repaired uh, the bleeding and the, what was it, the infection risk. And then we had like a sprained ankle and pain. Right. Those are the only two ailments. We had the risk of cabin fever and the risk, the sprain risk. Okay, so we had those. But my condition kept going down, and I had forgotten the. Uh, <clears throat> I had forgotten the. Um, the stim trick. So, what happens is if your condition goes down down here, if it gets down to red, and if you have a stim, you can it'll give you some health back, and then so you'll be able to get to your destination and come back. So I forgot that, and then so then I put the stim in, and I just came right back here. So we really haven't done anything. Uh, we just survived the wolf attack, and that was just that was just crazy. So uh, so we're back here. We're down one stim. We're down a little bit of food, and I just I just made a fire and some water, and I just drank some birch bark tea. So 
we're going to go to bed here, and then we're going to head up the mountain. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it remains to be seen if, you know, we'll be able to do this or not. Uh, you know, be able to have... Be, <laughs> be able to make it to 500 days or not is what I'm trying to say. So we'll see how things go, but I, I don't know. I, it, the wolves are just so sneaky around here. Not around here, but just in the game. You know, and it... it They'll ambush you. Which I wonder what's gonna happen once the uh, cougar the cougar gets released. We'll have the cougar there to deal with. So oh, what we want to do is we want to drop some equipment here. Um, I don't need to bring everything back with me. I wish I could tell this thing to just eat 15 cattails or something like that. <laughs> to keep clicking it. Okay, that is finally done. All right, let's... Oh, no, 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 no. Light it. There you go. All right, so what I had done before uh, in between the, the two episodes was I just I just put these things down because I decided that I didn't want to carry them back. And this whetstone uh, was ruined just from a little bit of sharpening I did, but that's, that's all I did. Uh, that's all we did here, and then we were going to uh, continue to head out. But I don't, I'm not going to head out in the dark again because that's what I did before. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here and wait. We're going to wait a good amount of time. I'm hoping that a blizzard's not going to form. So we'll see how that goes. Some more sleeping. And then we'll head out. Alright. So now we can see. And... We're just going to have to be extra careful with those wolves. I just, I can't believe how sneaky these guys are. I'll show you what happened. So we were coming this way. There's a memento I don't have the key for. Alright, let's get moving here. It's windy. We're walking into the wind. So over there is the, uh, where you banish the Dark Walker. There's a... Over that way. <clears throat> Gonna be walking slow here, so there are a bunch of wolves that hang down here. You can see one right there. That where I almost died. Um, I lost the recording. I'm not very good at the recordings yet. I need to increase my skills of like you know cutting videos and putting them together and modifying them. But. Yeah, I don't smell right now. What happened was I was right here, and right here there's a uh, tomato uh, can, and this is as far as I got. We picked up this uh, tomato can that was right here. That thing is always there. I think it's a static spawn. And then all the while, when I was sitting here talking about it, there was a wolf creeping up right here. He came, to he came right this up this side, right up this vertical here. He came right up. No barking, nothing. And uh, after I was talking about this and turned around, then I got jumped right away. My bow was about probably 90% drawn, uh, but just not enough not enough to kill him. So uh, we got into a struggle, and he got me he got me down to about like I said into the red. He got me into the red. And, uh, yeah, see, I need to get better at shooting these guys. Um, but the confusing piece was, you know, I was trying to make it back to the cabin. And then so I just pressed the escape key and I just quit because I, I, was, I was like, well, there's something else I should do. 
I didn't die. I just quit the game. Um, but, uh, I was like, oh, there's something else I should do about this. And I haven't even looked at my gear now. It's probably down, way down. Let's take a look. Come on. Uh, not terribly bad. 44%. Oops. So you just head up behind the waterfall here. There's usually, sometimes there's a backpack down there. Uh, I think they might have removed it on Interloper. As you can see, we are already freezing. Now, the wolves are done. We're not going to run into any more wolves this way. And the way we're going, I don't even think we're going to run into a bear. There's one bear, or actually, famous last words, the wolves are not done. <laughs> There's this area up here they need to be concerned about. Rather than waste arrows and, and work on killing them and risk, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do the torch method. And we're just going to get past them with the torch game. Now we're going this way. Our destination is right over on the other side. There's a frozen pond on the other side. And then down there is an entrance to a cave. That's the direction we're headed. The wolves will be right around here. If I had my bow out, I'd kill that guy right now. But so you just need to keep playing this game. Because this is a tight corner. There's no other way around. Alright, get out of here. Let's get moving. Some sticks. Can't tell who's fleeing and who's coming after me. Okay, so <clears throat> I think there's three wolves around here right now. Yeah, maybe four. No, there's four of them. See, so there'll be four like right here, just in this area. It's like one of the most concentrated areas. And those wolves are running the direction we're headed. We're headed right that way. So. Yeah, just always remember that if your um, health gets into the red, you know, where you start stumbling and stuff like that, uh, I haven't looked it up, but there seems to be a risk that even though you take care of whatever ailments got you to that point, let's say it was blood, blood loss or... Let's take, in my situation, it was it was blood loss and, you know, the uh, infection risk, right? So my health went down. I haven't had to deal with these wolves this much, like, ever. Like, usually they're, they're gone. Now they're all... Uh, you guys are running the wrong way. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna run. Oh, great. You are right in my way. Alright, tell you what, I need this out. Uh, guy takes his time a lot. Come on. See that? We're just headed right to that, right over there. Holy cow. Still, they're still around here. Let's get out of here. Wow. That is the most trouble I have ever had trying to get to this cave. Ever. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got another little trick here. Uh, I mean, I don't have to use... So, Okay, so I'm just going to show you this. Then I'll, then I'll talk about it in a second. Okay, so first I'm going to drop this down. Don't throw it over there, because it'll go out. Go into here. Take off all your stuff. Come on. Alright, now i got all my stuff taken off. Right-click on this guy, and then just carry it across. Find a place to set it down. Grab it. so cold in my life. 
Okay, so that's if you don't have a lantern, okay? Then your clothes are dry, you just put your... No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, put the one that can only go on the outside. There, there you go. Right. This. No, no. That, that. And then that. Okay. Now we're good. Uh, so we're on the other side there. Now I'm not going to keep this uh, torch lit. I'm going to switch to the lantern. But I just did that real quick to show you guys that little trick there. So you don't lose uh, your torch. Because especially like in the beginning... You know, you could have um, really low on on uh, matches, so yeah. But always remember, if your light, if your health is in the red, grab a stem, grab a stem, because that'll save your life, and then get to get to a place where you can uh, go to sleep. All right. Because yeah, that was very strange. I I haven't. I haven't noticed that. My my health being in the red I haven't had that I haven't had that a lot. Um, I'm wondering if they changed it to where like once it's in the red, it's gonna continue to go down until you get rest. And I'm saying that because I've seen other players on YouTube be in the red, and I've seen people you know, spend a whole day, basically, in the red. Just literally, they're just going around doing different things, you know, and... I mean, they're, you know, they're being careful, but they're just getting things done and going around doing things, all while it's in the red, and it's not going down. And for some reason, it just kept continuing to go down, which is why I had to, I had to kill that uh, recording. Because it... i just forgotten... So what I did was... Uh, what have we here? I just killed the recording, and then I reloaded the game, and then of course I come back with the uh, yeah. I'm just leaving that scarf behind. I don't I don't want to carry that with me. Are we overweight again? Yeah, we're already overweight. So this is unfortunate because we do have to get up. Uh, where's the rope? Yeah, here's the rope. So we do have to get up this rope over here. It looks like we got a backpack. This will come. Again. But yeah, so now I think. If you ever get in the red, you got to get out of the red uh, as quickly as possible. You can't hang around because it's going to continue. Your health will continue to degrade, even if you take care of all ailments. You know, even if you take care of all ailments, your health will continue to degrade. If you're in the red, I just I just experienced it, so uh, maybe somebody could prove me wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. That's good. So we can go up. Okay, so one strategy here, though, in situations like this, where the rope is short enough, you know, you don't have to drop everything and then come up, but then you're, that's basically it. You could just drop enough stuff, come up here, drop up a, a bunch more stuff, go back down, grab the stuff you dropped, and then come back up. That's one strategy. But we just dropped one piece of wood, so we're fine. So that's the way out, right? So let's just continue this way. Yeah, so when it reloaded, it reloaded me back to, you know, after the wolf, right after the wolf uh, um, attack, and my health was already in the red. Now, there's either a carcass or a corpse over here, usually, so. I need to drop something. Why did it do that? That was weird. I just clicked on the wolf, and then it said sprain affliction risk, and then sprain affliction healed. That was interesting. And then I clicked on the wolf again, and I couldn't get it uh, repeated. Huh. Wonder what that was about. Okay, so yeah, sometimes this way there could be, you know, something to grab over there, either the corpse or whatever. Um, but we can get going now. Hopefully it's a little warmer out. I don't hear any wind or anything, so it should be fine for in terms of uh, storm or blizzard or anything. <clears throat> okay. If 
But after this run, I might decide to, uh, not this run, after this episode I might go back and see if I can salvage some of the recording of the attack, just to show. We'll see. Like I said, I'm totally new at video editing, so we'll see how things go. Alright, so here we're just going to go straight across. That way is going to lead you towards, uh, <clears throat> I believe towards uh, where that cabin was, where I was saying there's a cabin, you can climb up a rope there, but there's not a rope there yet, you know, where, where we come into Ash Canyon. Uh, and there's also, if you're going to go that way, like I said, there's also going to be a bear. Uh, you'll eventually run into a bear at some point. <clears throat> but this way you won't. So, just keep going. I wish it wasn't foggy so we could see, but eh, it's fine. We just have to really scan for saplings, though, with the fog. Let's get going here. Saplings here. Sometimes there can be stuff around that fire. Cold is making my head feel thick. Not as much an interloper. Our health is uh, quite low, so we are going to take a break and uh, make a fire here pretty soon. Too much stuff to carry. You're overweight again. <laughs> So I, I usually like to check along the sides of these, uh, underneath these bridge bridges here. Yeah, look how much fog it is. I don't know if I've ever gone across these bridges with this amount of fog. Really foggy. It's too bad too because the views are just awesome. Off to this other side over here, I think there can be some wood. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, that, I think that's another section I'm... Yeah, that's another bridge I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah, that's, we're fine. Oh, we're going to make a fire, so I'll tell you what, when we... <clears throat> we'll start a fire up here. In this little uh, <clears throat> entryway here. Grab that. How many stones do I have? Three? That's good. Okay. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna make a fire here, we'll warm up a bit. Alright. Oh, that's good enough. Could have actually just used a stick and then some coal, but come on, come on. It worked. Oh, we're completely out of birch bark. That. That's really, really too bad. Yeah, we need more. Need more. Let's drink a couple of teas to warm ourselves up. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, so the question I have is if you 
drink something like that and it says, oh, the stream didn't do anything. Did it really not do anything? Or, like, did it not do anything at all? Is what I'm a little confused about, right? Because I'm like... I mean, all we're looking for is just warmth anyway, right? We just want that warmth bonus. Some more saplings. We're going to continue to get heavy. Alright, let's get moving. this guy here. I used to just leave these things alone because they took too, like, they take quite a bit of time to get out too of the heavy. ground here. Um, but now I always grab them because they have a good amount of vitamin C. Is there anything under there? No. Yeah, I think it's this bridge where there's some wood off to the right. Yeah, it's really too bad the fog is so thick. I've never fallen off these bridges. Uh, some people have said that they're very, actually very difficult. You have to deliberately want to, you know, fall off of them. But yeah. nothing there. Sometimes there can be matches. Now over this way, there's usually some pieces of wood. Go ahead and grab those. Yeah, look at that. Really thick fog still. It's like you're in, okay. It's like you're in the Willis or the Sears Tower in in Chicago, and it's a complete foggy day, and you can't see anything. <laughs> uh, sometimes there's stuff over here. I think there can be some saplings over here. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I think uh, I think this is one of those Polaroid locations, if I remember right. See, I wanted that rose hip. Uh, okay. Let's go back down. I just wanted the rose hip. <laughs> now you can go. feeling the mountain lion is going to make this game very, very much more difficult. Because <laughs> it'll be like the wolf ambush on steroids kind of a thing. Because <laughs> those things will not announce themselves at all. You know, the wolves, for the most part, you can get overconfident with them announcing themselves. But if they're just, if they're trying, if you smell and they're trying to come towards you, they're not going to make a sound until they're like right up on you. Okay, now sometimes there can be over this way stuff right here, so you always need to check over there. Damn, I'm freezing. Yeah, we're going to make another fire. How cold is it? Yeah. 
not that bad. Just use one of these fir woods here. Let's just use 70%, but that's fine. Because we have a torch, so. Come on, come on. Well, that didn't work. I did it. Rose hips. Nope. 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 Yeah, we want that. That's right. See, when the, the quote treatment didn't work, I'm wondering if that's just the primary reason for the treatment, like, you know, painkillers in this case of rose hips. But when really all we're looking for is just getting warm enough to move on. Yeah, he's quite heavy now, so he's he's getting a little tired too. Yeah, that mountain lion is going to be <laughs> challenging. I wonder how you're going to be able to hunt them. They must really be working on the mechanics of it. This, there's this cave in here, but there's really nothing in here except for some coal. And I already have plenty of... Tell you what, I'm going to exchange that piece of fir wood for a couple pieces of coal. Coal is more valuable. Yeah, they, they gotta be working on the mechanics of the uh, mountain lion because it, it it's gonna be elusive, like it, I, if it's realistic, if they're if they're wanting Real, sometimes they're not wanting too much realism, you know, because too much realism uh, you wouldn't have all these uh, entertaining things like, you know, the, uh, the the animals acting all strange, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so too much realism in something isn't going to be very fun. Um, On the other hand, little to no realism. Here, look, they have a rope right here for us. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen the rope this close to this. So you can put the rope down here. Uh, matter of fact, we might as well just put the rope on here in case we ever want to use it. Um, but we're not going to be using it because we're already too heavy. And so we're going to go down. So I mean, we'll shed some of this weight. Um, making fires and stuff like that, but like with the wood. But uh, yeah, we're going to be pretty heavy, and the, the unfortunate thing is we are going to have to go down some ropes. So once we go down the other side, because I don't think you can billy goat down them at all. Like, <clears throat> I think the ropes that we're going to go down 
I think we have to go down, but I don't think there's a way you can safely billy goat down, so. Yeah, well. Sprain risk. See, look at all these saplings. There's the mine over there. I usually head this way and some turnigans but I'm not going to mess with those. I usually head this way and get disappointed about not finding any loot on a corpse over here. Now these saplings alone are going to weigh quite a bit. It's too bad as well that you can't just like, you know, throw stuff. Because <laughs> how many here would be standing at a... a a cliff with a rope ready to climb down and you're too heavy and you're like okay well I'll just throw some stuff down. No, nope, can't do that. <laughs> uh, but in real life you know dang well you'd be like okay I'm so heavy well I'm just gonna throw all this stuff down. Throw a bunch of stuff down there and then I'll just slide down the rope and then I'll put him, I'll pick him back up. That corpse is over here. It's, it's kinda hard to get to a little bit just cause of you know this. Like yeah. Then I don't think I've ever found anything on this guy or the bag. No. It's a make you cold detour. All it did was make me colder. And now for the cave. We don't have to worry about being cold now. Hopefully our condition will get up to where it needs to be. There's usually little to most of the time there's nothing out here uh, in this little area there are some containers like right here can't feel my hands Yeah, so it, it, it's totally up in the air if I'm going to be able to make it to 500 days or not. Um, I don't know how good I am with the wolves, frankly. I mean, the wolves are the only the only variable in this. You know, if I get if I get lost out in the middle of nowhere and it's freezing out, you know, I I always find my way back. Now. The matches could be somewhere. Sometimes they're right here. Ah, and there they are. So here's some, if you come into this place, <clears throat> see it's dark and already dark outside, and you have no matches, there's a chance they'll be right here. Uh, they're not always there, though. Uh, if they're not there, you're going to have to painstakingly try to get through here without being able to see anything and try to get over here because if the matches aren't over there at the entry point they will be around this area you know so it would be very challenging if you can see any more food yeah. I'll just take I don't need the field dressing because I'm already level four okay Interesting thing they added here, the uh, ice, or not the ice, the uh, the cold water, walking in the cold water. And it gets cold. I'm going to pick up a bunch of coal, but we're not going to be able to take everything with us, because we can't throw things off the cliff. That'd be a nice uh, enhancement. The ability to throw pieces of your inventory. Because if you could do that, you could just uh, throw a bunch of stuff down on the ground and then just climb down. So we got to go that way, but uh, there's some stuff over here to take a look at. So we'll get up to a max capacity of 40 with the backpack, so we're already going to be heavy. Uh, probably get rid. Yeah, I don't need any more coal. I already got a little too much, so. 
We'll make it over to the bed over here. Freezing water. See if there's anything. Let's get moving here. And here is the backpack and the crampons. Alright, so now we've increased the amount we can carry. Got some food. Grab this. How are we doing on water? Uh, we can use more water. No, I don't need that thunder. <laughs> That's a mistake. Nope, didn't want that. Okay. Well, we have what we came for. That's the way out. Uh, we're not going to leave yet, though, because we have to rest up and get some condition back and make some more water. And, Could end up being useful. Uh, I do need to pick up some more of the uh, the bearded lynchins for infection risks. Okay. All right. So let's. I'm just trying to think what I'm gonna do here. So we have. Yeah, we're just gonna eat, make water. We're just gonna eat, make water. And then sleep. I could eat a horse. I did it. Okay. Put these things on here. All right. Start some water here. Let that cook for a while. Uh. I mean, I can leave extra water here. Let's take a look. What do we have to? I know we got a bunch of stuff to craft. Got this. whole bunch of rose hips. I think we have enough for 30 minutes. Yep. Yeah, I'll drink that for my sprain, sure. <laughs> Uh, I don't even remember where I got that spring. Oh, that was just coming down the mountain recently, or the the hill. We we're coming down. So about that, you know, when you're coming down, um, and the sprain risk is on. Some people are saying, no, it's just a matter of time. It's just a coincidence that you stood up. Uh, I'm going to qualify that with. If you do stand up too early when you're coming down from being crouched, then you will get the sprain because you already exceeded the amount of time that the game's going to allow you. So if you're standing and you have your sprain risk, you're going to get a sprain risk uh, if you exceed the max amount of time or something like that. It's just going to give you one. But if you're crouched, you're not going to get one unless you stand up too early. That's my experience. I think people are still trying to figure out the mechanics of that. but. Let's get some more. Why didn't that work? Ah, because it was for pain. 
<laughs> well, that gave us some more vitamin C. What else should we eat here? Let's take a look. All right, we're gonna be going to bed, so it doesn't matter if we get food poisoning. Oh, yeah, see, that's fine. Die. Oh, I just wanna die. No, don't die, dude. Cause. And I'll eat this. Yep, I want to have to deal with um, scurvy for quite some time. Something's making me feel tired. That that didn't seem like it was hardly any calories. Drop the cans. We don't need those. What do we got here? Water. Oh, okay. All right. So we get some burdock root. That's good. Oh. Well, this is a shitty way to die. <laughs> the guy's <is> cussing. <laughs> Repair our food poisoning, and then we just and then we'll have ten hours. So uh, that'll get us till the next day. Hopefully, there won't be a blizzard. Uh, before we go to bed, do we need any more water? Uh, I don't think we do. Yeah, because we're gonna be heavy anyway. So let's not make any more water. Let's grab our pots though, something behind. so we don't forget them. And then now we just do the ten hour sleep. This is the only time that you'll get 10 hours when you tell it 10 hours when you have food poisoning. So this actually probably should still be dark out. Yeah. It's still going to be dark out. It's too bad that our condition just didn't improve. Oh well. We do have some more sleeping to do. We need a couple cattails. And I'm going to go to sleep, try to get this condition back. We really need some birch bark tea. A little more sleep. Just a little bit more condition back. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh, I drank that. I meant to click on the, the water, but that's okay. Nope, I don't want that. I want you to light. <laughs> All right. Let's get going here. So this is the only way out. Oh, we have an Aurora. Let's see that. So there's an Aurora going on right now. There's some stuff up here on the way back here. It's usually like one piece of clothing. Uh, it can be over here, but I don't see it. Sometimes there can be a piece of clothing back there. Now there shouldn't be any wolves in our path uh, in the Aurora. There's always there always could be. Um, but we'll see how things go. How heavy are we? We're not that heavy. So we'll probably just drop some stuff. Uh, right by the rope, I'm guessing. Alright, come on. All right. All right, so there should be an aurora out. Yeah, we got some good views right now. Now, if you think you might, that you might, well, I just want to go back inside. Let's see you come out here and there's a blizzard or some. Do not go down this first step. Do not go down that first step. You go down here, you can't get back up. You can. I think if you can't, I think even if you get on this little guy here, I don't think you can get back up. Let's test it out. Yeah. Oh, 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 can I? Yep, yeah, I can. Okay, so if you get down here, you can get back up. 
You just come over this way, if you can. Yeah, see, I don't know how well you could conceivably do this. You have to get on this piece of snow here, and then you have to try to get up there, and I'm not going to be able to. I just will not be able to. It's not going to let me. Uh, maybe. Oh well, that's not that worth. It's not worth it. Getting cold over. <laughs> but yeah, so you can go this way uh, to the gold mine if you don't want to go the other way. But problem is, you have to climb up uh, three ropes. I think it is, or is it just two? Or actually, you can't. You can only get up over here. Yeah, three. So there's one rope over there. That's what it is. So there's one rope over that way. So there's two ropes you need to go down here. And I'm just looking for... Oh, we lost the Aurora already. I'm just looking for any uh, any, any uh, <coughs> loot items, because sometimes there could be a con uh, container there. So uh, what are we going to drop? Well, we might as well drop this guy. And we'll drop, actually, let's drop as many sticks as we need to. Say five, what does that get us at? Okay, yeah. I'd rather get rid of sticks so than the coal. Just gonna lay down for a bit. Oh, I should have put on the, uh, the crampons. Uh, the crampons help reduce uh, sprain risk as well. We're gonna have to make a fire down here because we're too cold. And we have a ways to go, so we'll have to make a fire. I wish this guy could just slide down the rope. That'd be cool. Alright. Because frankly, it just takes a long time. It'd be cool to just slide down. Alright. So sometimes there's like a, a snow uh, fort right here. But probably most of the time not. Alright. Yep, yeah, it's a choice between coal or sticks. Always get rid of the sticks first, because the the sticks are much more of a renewable resource. It worked. So let's get warmed up. All right. I'll just get, I think I'll just wait a little bit. How much we got? Wait, and then I'll make one more tea to renew the buff. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, so this changes things. This changes everything. Alright, I can't make a snow fort. We're out of here. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a deer right there. But we're out of here. Where is the rope? We need to find some place to escape this cold. Where is the rope? Okay. Okay, uh, okay, okay. This is very, 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 very unfortunate because our condition's so low. It's still nighttime, technically. And we're in a blizzard. Too cold to think. Can we make a fire here? Actually, yes, we'll do that. Come on. Come on. Make a fire. That's not going to Well, thank goodness for that. Finally got it warm enough.
<laughs> All right. Now I wonder how long this blizzard's going to last. What I'm wondering is, could I risk a nap right here to try and get some condition back, you know? Like, can I risk it? I'm going to sleep one hour. We'll see how that goes. I still hear the fire. That's good. Did we get like any health back at all from that? <laughs> I don't know. The other thing that's real annoying with this run so far is that we still, we still have not come across any tea, any herbal tea. Still. No. All right, let's uh, get another buff back. Actually, let's see what else we got here. Let's put this down. This guy down. Because the thing is, my condition is so low that I really just I don't want to go out in this. I mean, I'd rather not. I'll tell you what, I don't need to drink that right now because I think we're just gonna stay here. So let's put another coal on here. And let's put in two hours. I know, living dangerously. Oh, I think the fire went out. 